Hi everyone, welcome back to the Sunday Sessions. Today I am going to be doing a bit of a makeup tutorial for you. I was hugely inspired, as always, by the Jill Sander catwalk show. Not just the clothes, which were obviously awesome and perfect in every way, but also the makeup look. Now what it was, was a very kind of very natural look in terms of there was not much eye makeup on at all, if any, no mascara, there was just a strong brow, a clear skin, but then a very strong kind of wine colored lip. And that is what I'm gonna do for you today. I've already done my foundation, concealer, a bit of blusher and my brows, and I've not put any mascara on, which is actually really difficult for me, but I'm trying not to wear mascara every day. It's a real challenge but I feel like it's a good thing to get used to and especially I like how it looks when you have quite a strong lip colour. So what I want to show you is not just the application of the lipstick but also stress the importance of prepping your lips if you're somebody who likes to wear a pigmented matte lip colour because the thing is with matte is it's absolutely brilliant but if you've got crusty lips it's not a great look so it's important to exfoliate your lips regularly I say that but I am somebody who actually doesn't exfoliate my lips regularly I'm very naughty and I do just hope for the best and put matte lipstick on and by the end of the day it does look a bit gross so I'm going to show you how to scrub your lips if you have never done that before I'm sure many of you have and you're all over it but I'm going to show you a lip scrub that I have the Elizabeth Arden eight hour lip scrub and it's basically like a, sh a sugar scrub <laughs> so I'm just going to apply a bit of that now and just by the way I do have some wet wipes to hand because it can get a bit messy so it might be worth just doing this in your bathroom where you you can maybe do it like as you're washing your face but obviously I can't do that right now so just take a small amount it's quite difficult to get a small amount out of here yeah I think just maybe that much is enough just apply it to the lip lips sorry and just give them a good going over and then I'm just going to wipe off with a wet wipe oh got some in my mouth actually it does taste quite nice because it's sugar I'm sure it's not harmful you can't really do a lip scrub which has got harmful ingredients in it can you because they'd probably just get sued now that lip scrub comes with a little pot of the 8 hour lip protectant but I don't actually like it, not because I don't think it's an amazing product, I just don't really like the smell because I basically used to use Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream all the time on my lips and then during my first pregnancy I was using it and now I can only associate it with morning sickness so I can't use it anymore. But I know there's some huge fans out there and I know that it works a dream, but I just, you know, I don't know if anyone else is like that. They just can't go near certain products or fragrances or things like that that just remind you of that period of life. So instead, I'm going to use the Arquette Lip Balm. This is really good. I've been using this for a while and it's great. I mean, I don't think it's very expensive, to be honest, because it's from Arquette, but it's been brilliant. I just use it nearly every day. So just get that on top of my freshly scrubbed lips. I've got a little compact mirror here because then at least I can see what I'm doing. Oh, that's, that's helpful, I can't, I can't even work out. Oh yeah, there you are, got it open. So now, the, I think the thing I'm gonna do is just add a bit of concealer around the lip area because through wiping my mouth with that wet wipe, I've lost a bit of kind of the foundation that was around my mouth. So I'm just gonna just carefully add a little bit of coverage around the mouth. Ideally, after exfoliating my lips, I would let the lip balm sink in for a while, but I haven't really got time now to do that. So I'm just gonna dab the excess off of the back of my hand. 
so that we've still got a bit of moisture on the lips because we're going to need that for the way that I'm going to apply the lip colour. The colour that I'm using is one of the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigments. A few videos ago I did my makeup in Paris and I was using one of these Power Matte Lip Pigments in a colour called Don't Stop which is a really nice bright red. But this one is maybe a shade or two darker. It's in a colour called Vein and this is just a really nice wine coloured shade. Now with the brighter colour I used the wand and I did quite a defined line around the lips so the lipstick really popped whereas with this color I actually feel like it looks better if you do it in more of a kind of stain by that I mean a blurred edge around the lip line so it doesn't look so precise so the way I do that is just take some color on the wand and dab onto the lip Okay, and then I just use my finger and blend that pigment in. And because there's some lip balm on there, it helps to just blend the colour in. But this liquid does actually dry really quick, so you have to be quite fast. So I just begin by spreading the colour in the middle of the lip and into the corners. And then slowly, you just want to start to edge out onto the lip line. So hopefully you can see that that's quite a rough shape, basically. It's quite soft, not at all precise. And that's what we want. We don't want this sort of sharp edge that's going to look so severe. So that's the base of the colour and then I'm just going to add into the middle of the lip a bit more pigment just to create that look of a stained lip Okay, so I, I think it even looks quite nice if it's like quite ragged around the edges within reason, you don't want it to just look like a complete mess I just feel like it's just nice to have that softness to it. Okay. And then if you want to, you can add a bit more pigment in the middle. Depends how strong you want it to look. And what you don't want, lipstick all over your teeth like this which happens to me all the time. When you've done your lips, please check your teeth before going out of the house, which is what's happened to me sometimes. And I wonder why I'm getting funny looks. It's why you leave good friends around you who can tell you that you've got lipstick all over your teeth. Right, that's the finished look, and I hope that you like it. So, clear eye, strong lip, bit of a brow and that's it. And then you basically look like you've just stepped off the Jill Sander catwalk. I will link to the lip scrub and the lip color in the caption below. Probably worth mentioning that you don't actually need to use one of the liquid lip products. You could just use a normal lipstick and take the color straight off the bullet. You could just use your ring finger to get some color off and make that lighter base layer and then just add more lipstick as you see fit in the middle of the lip. I'm sure that will work just as well. If any of you try it, let me know how you get on and if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be back next week with another episode of Sunday Sessions. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.